Hey everyone, I thought I'd show you a few of the faces I go through while I'm uh, creating new projects and today is no different. Uh, we created these on the Mac and had a blast doing it. Um, but the subject today is creating a space picture using spray cans. So I hope you enjoy these pictures and this lesson. Okay, so you're going to need uh, some things to cover up different spots with, three different sizes is good. These two are kind of close in size, but they'll work. Actually, what we'll do is we'll use the bottom of this can. And for things that are thin like this, I could just clean them off. Take a piece of masking tape, fold it, stick it on top. It gives me something to pick it up with. If you feel like wearing rubber gloves or something, go ahead. Uh, we're just going to do a basic technique here today. Uh, the planets, we'll do, uh, let's spray some yellow on here. Don't be afraid to put this on though, it should be reasonably thick. You know, you don't have to pick spots or, you know, where you, where you think you want the stuff. Just, just throw it on there. Okay. Now, this is where the paper comes in. Colored paper is best. Okay. And now, if you want to try to pick out where you want your planet, a pretty decent idea and uh, let's say that we wanted a purple shadow behind this one and a red shadow behind this one and a black shadow behind this one and then uh, let's see we'll make this the biggest one and that and we'll do this right here. Then what we're going to do, we're going to take purple, let's say blue. It's going to go all over the place here. Take dark blue and a little black here. This is just about how to do planets. Okay. And I don't think I have white. Oh, that's a shame. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take this white, I mean this blue, I'm going to spray it on my fingers. I'm going to start putting the stars in. paint on here so it's going to kind of settle in anyway. It's going to start changing colors. Good idea to have a rag around something you can wipe your fingers off. There's some white here but it's empty. Okay, oh, we're going to have some beautiful stars here. As this settles in, I'll put some more on. And one of the other things that you can do is we'll use this right here since we already have. It's already folded naturally by, came in the mail. I'm just going to take it, fold it like so, I think. Fresh. Now, 
Now, on a different episode, I'm going to light one of these on fire. But it's not going to be this one because we're on cardboard, and I'd rather have something not quite so flammable. I think that's what we're going to call it quits right there. So pick this up. Pick this up. And then we can go in and pull that off. So just get some stuff out and practice. I'll move that out of there in a few minutes. As you can see, it's fast and it's a very cool technique. So the other thing I wanted to do to this, because it is still fresh, is I'm going to uh, make some land down here. And we'll use this right here for it. Just flip it over and put it on this side. And pick it up and voila. Bring that down like that. You see what a difference it made putting that land in there? So it's fascinating what you can do. Say we wanted this. Uh, a little darker. Let's spray some black in here. Use this other piece and set it like this and make a third little mound of uh, little hill, another rock. more depth, that much more dimension. And that's really what it's about. It's about depth, perception, color mixing, and the whole thing is it's all it's done really fast. And there could have been some more stars put in there. Doesn't matter. It's what matters is doing something. I mean these these little hills right here would be beautiful if you did some underwater stuff with some fish. So just just grab some spray bombs and do it and just go for it and see what you can come up with. This is Gary from Duck Hold Sign and I will see you on the next episode.